welcome to another episode of Steam Files. As you can see, I'm out and about with the SLK today. So it's another episode of Project Path in Japan, SLK. And as promised in my last video, I'm going to do a bit more of a detailed look at what's actually happened with this car. Obviously, I've been having a load of bodywork recently. There's also a few little bits and pieces I'll talk about on this car as well. And it's all been very exciting. Um, so I just really wanted to stop and take a moment and actually just look at the car and just show you guys what's actually been going on with the car and what bodywork's been done. So a good place to start, let's start the front of the car. So we look at the bonnet, the bonnet has had a bit of a respray just mainly along this front edge here and the, this all has been sanded down and repainted and then he's blended it in so there's a few little imperfections in the bonnet so you probably again won't pick up on the camera there's a few little chips as you go further up the bonnet there's a few little scratches still on there and it's never going to be perfect i didn't really want to get this car perfect but it's the best that it's going to be i'll also add that i've done a polish and a wax since it's had, we, uh, since it's had all the paintwork on there as well uh, the lower part of the bumper as we can see that's now black and that's also the same for the lower part down the side there and also the uh, back bumper as well which is how it should be originally it was silver and it was all peeing off and looked a bit of a mess but now that's nice and tidy as well so back round to the front and round to this side here there was a little bit of a, a scuff mark here on the corner now this was one he did try to polish it um, however it just all the paint that you broke up so it was it was on the edge he said I'll give it a try with a polish but he thinks he's going to need a whole new sort of bumper corner painting here um, so thankfully we've been able to do that and it's got really well so we'll continue down the side of the car and the main reason that this car I wanted to do bodywork on it was because of the rusty wheel arches now as you can see excuse the sight a little bit dirt there that's got rid of all the rust each of the wheel arches had rust on it so he's done each of them he's had to go over a little bit because the bubbling rust was just bubbling just over the edge on certain parts of it so he's had to do or you spray it on this bit and then blend it in on the top here. Uh, same for the little bits of the uh, the bumper meets the wing here. There's a little bit of bubbling rust, which is where they all seem to go. And as you can see, that's quite really nice. Again, he's just trying to spray it in and blend it in as much as he can. So down the side of the car, there was some really bad. It was like almost the paint had been almost chipped out of here and on here as well. So he's ended up doing a bit of a, he ended up doing this twice basically, because he tried to do blending it in, uh, painting the edge of the door and blending it in, and also he did this bit as well. Um, unfortunately, it didn't really go to plan that, so it, it just didn't look quite right. So he's ended up painting the whole door panel, which is quite a big job. He's also painted this rear quarter as well, including the fuel cap there as well. So as we move around to the back of the car, can see again, mining up my flowers, uh, that the rear bumper here has had the lower part painted in nice satin black. Uh, I've also had the exhaust painted, I didn't actually ask for, but he very kindly just painted the exhaust in a nice sort of heat resistant uh, paint as well, which is quite nice. You just happened to have lying around, so that was quite helpful as well. So moving down to the passenger side, again, it's just had the two rear arches done, not too much on this side. Uh, it's just had a good machine polish as well all over the car, which has really lifted the car and makes that absolute shine just come out really. Um, so if we look at things like the boot lid here and we look at the roof, you can just see here, particularly in this angle, just how much shine there is on that. And this is all mainly due to machine polish. These haven't had any paint. There was almost like a cloudiness to the whole car looks sort of cloudy. Thankfully though, it's all managed to machine polish out. Now I did do a bit of machine polish myself, um, but it didn't really work out how I wanted it to work out. Um, it, it just didn't bring the paint up enough. You can see there's a big difference in it, but it just wasn't quite what I wanted. The shot of the bonnet, as you can see, again, the shine and that's so much better than what it was. He also did fantastic machine polish on there and he has a lot of different cutting compounds and different things and different methods and all that which is far more advanced than what I could have done. So the SLK has come up really well. I'm really impressed how it's come up. Um, it doesn't really surprise me though how well it's come up in a way. I, I sort of looked at this car and knew it had issues but the bodywork wasn't that bad. I think there was lots of little bits on it that I needed doing but thankfully, because I, I work in the trade, I know people that can help me out and, and do me some 
sort of mates race almost as well. So it's really looking smart now. I'm so impressed with the way this car's come up. It's just so much better. That shine, I can't get the shine. That's the one thing I can't get over. It probably doesn't come up on the, the camera that well, but it is just so much better compared to how it was. And for the moment I saw this car, I knew there was a good car underneath. I knew that it would need a bit of work, admittedly, but I knew there'd be good car underneath, and sure enough, there is. Um, the only other job that he's doing the body right now, I had the dent guy come out, and he's done most dents. He was just having a bit of trouble with the dent just on the roof. Let's try to pan around so you can see it. So it's about sort of here. Um, and he was struggling to get in underneath without moving all the roof panels off because this being obviously folding hard top, he was having a little bit of trouble just trying to get in without moving too much of the hard top and affecting, affecting that. So he's going to try and do an effort where he can basically glue something to it and pull it from above. She obviously made a lot better, uh, but I'm just waiting in to do that and get a bit of time in at the moment. So other than the obvious paintwork, what else I've been doing the SLK? Well, there's two things I have done. Little simple jobs, uh, which is mainly the windscreen wipers I've fitted, which are Mercedes genuine parts I got from work. Uh, I also got a staff discount for that as well, so that's always a bonus. And one of the things I love is these little 340 star emblems on them which when you sat actually driving the car, that's the thing you see the most, um, which is really nice little touch to be honest. Uh, and then just this week, I've also had, you might remember on my earlier videos, um, that this <laughs> indicator uh, was pretty much falling out of the car. Um, literally, you could touch it and it was very, very delicate. It was, it was getting to the point where it had been uh, I had the dent guy come and do a load of dents and there was a dent in this wing and it was, wasn't actually holding anymore. Uh, and basically, I'll put a picture in of the, the damage. Basically, it's a, a sort of uh, bit here that holds into the car and there's a little U-shaped thing here which clips in and that sort of holds underneath the wing. And I'll put a, a thing photo in here and that basically had broken. So it wasn't actually having anything to hold into the wing. Uh, so this was a aftermarket part. It was £10 including delivery on eBay. Nice, easy, simple fix. I haven't done a video on that because it was that simple. All you do, it popped out nicely because it's broken. Uh, you just twist the bulb fitting round, pull it out, and then you push it back into the new one, twist it round, and just fit this back in it and flips all in. So that was a nice, easy little job, but it's just made a difference to the car. It doesn't really look any different to the other one, but at least now it's nice and secure and not going to risk falling out. It, it was getting to the point with the old one, I actually had to take it out for a drive the one day to a um, local car meet. And I actually had to put a bit of sellotape just over, just to stop it flying out, just in case. I don't think it was going to fly out, but I just put a bit of sellotape on there just to keep it held in place. Um, so what's next in, for the SLK? Well, now that the bodywork has been done, I think definitely the wheels are looking a little bit uh, patty now. Take at these front two, just around the centre here. You can see it's all just peeling and some of the paint's also peeling just around the edge there. Um, and that's all four wheels, unfortunately. Um, they're going to need doing so. A little bit expensive, I didn't quite expect, but now the body work looks so good, it only makes sense really to do this up as well. So, hopefully, I've shown you a little bit more about what I've been doing with the SLK. Um, thankfully, it's all come really well. I'm so impressed. It probably really didn't show up on the camera how much of a difference this car looks now. It's probably a not so £500 project SLK. I think it's a bit unfair to call that anymore. It's probably more of a, I don't know, £1,500, £2,000 car. Um, but yeah, I, I really can't believe just how much of a difference there is in this car. The, the paintwork was always like cloudy before taking on the bonnet, the roof, the boot lid. There's like the always cloudy effect on it. Um, there's little dense marks scratches all over the car. And as I've said before, as soon as you see that, it's not perfect. It's never going to win the concourse, but I don't want that. Uh, I just wanted to get this bodywork back up to a sort of usable condition. So I can take to shows, it's not going to embarrass itself. Um, but also, each little scratch and mark, it, it sort of helps tell a story. And as I said, actually ages ago when I first bought this car, it's not really a candidate for a four-wheel spray. It's going to cost me four to five grand of a four-wheel spray. The car's never been worth that, so, and that's what I did just for the love of it, which out there, I wasn't going to. Um, yeah, it was uh, let's just get it up to a good standard, let's get out some shows, and let's just make it usable. It picks up a little knock, a little scratch going forward now. I'm not going to be that worried about it. 
So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Steam Foils. If you have, make sure you put a like so I know to do more stuff like this. And if you want to see more of myself and my far future town SLK, uh, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So it's quite often me. Goodbye from the SLK and I will see you very soon. Bye.